to get some more information. But Shane Smith, one time Motorsports, he's working on trying to get a Yamaha class going, uh, a series. So, you know, and that would be really a shot in the arm. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'd like to see, like, an I-5 series for the dirt. You have so many tracks, up, you know, up and down the I-5 corridor. Like, why not? I mean, you have Dixon all the way up to Skagit Speedway. So, I mean, that would be, that'd be a sweet thing to get going if, if we could, you know, get, like, a Yamaha class and just get, like, an Outlaw series or something like that going. Man, I, yeah, I'm with you, man. You know, it's, it's too bad. I mean, um, personally, I mean, I love the Northwest Gold Cup. I think it's, I think it's awesome. But I also would love to see um, enough guys and enough interest to where, man, there could be a Northwest Gold Cup for the Speedway stuff, too. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, yeah, that would be. like, you know, And you get a lot more numbers that way, too, because you get guys from all over. So, you know, eventually, hopefully, we can, hopefully something can come up about like that. Because that would definitely draw my attention, too. I love running dirt, and I'd love to run a lot more races throughout the year if I could. And uh, different tracks, too. But, you know, unfortunately, the class I've run, there's not a lot of competition. So i got to either jump into the Yamaha class or maybe AKA or something like that. Yeah. Well, I, you know, either way you go, I, I think you're going to be good. I mean, who knows? Maybe you can maybe you can afford to do both. You get that monster uh, sponsor back, huh? Are you, are you still with them? No, that was only a two-year deal, unfortunately. So everything that we're doing now is, Certainly coming out of the pocket, but but that's okay, you know. Um, Maxi's tires is actually helping us out as far as rubber goes and stuff like that, but everything else is pretty much pretty much coming out of our pocket. So, but but it was fun. It's been a good year for us. You know, we won four races, so we're not complaining. Unfortunately, the the motor problems kind of threw us off, but hopefully we can get things turned around here this weekend. Yeah, no no doubt. I'm I'm sure you will, and you know you'll definitely want to tune in on February 25th because. We're going to have the marketing lady, uh, Anna Marie. She's going to be here marketing at full speed, so she's going to have a lot of info for uh, for you to, to sink your teeth into about maybe uh, finding yourself a sponsor, which might not be bad timing, especially with that when that Yamaha series kicks in. That's going to be uh, pretty good. Now, have you thought about ever running uh, a UAS rig? Uh, yeah, I would. Um, kind of like, that's kind of like up to my dad. He's more of the financial end of it but uh my my engine builder actually was considering putting a monster motor together for that sometime and you know Dave rock's a pretty good engine builder and we've gone through him ever since i got started and you know he hasn't really let me down as far as anything goes like that so uh yeah maybe eventually i'd like to get into that you know but i think my main focus right now is uh jumping into like the two-stroke yamaha class and then just building up and just going from there. You know, I'd love to run though. I'd love to run the Buddha sometime. Like, that's what I'm saying. I was going to ask you. So if you had one UAS guy, you'd love to just pounce on, who would it be? Well, I'd have to say, uh, Shane Smith, man. That dude, <laughs> uh, that dude, man. That guy, you know, he ain't no fuck. He's, he's fast as hell. <laughs> Yep, there you go. One time, he, the yeah, king, the, the king, him. the king's coming for you, buddy. The king is he's coming my, for you. He's my pick this year. He's my pick since Celtics has gone. He's he's, he's going to be the guy to win it. I think. You, you think Shane Smith's going to win the BK Seven? Oh yeah, I I think he's going to be the man. He's got he's got you know he comes out on the track all the time, getting uh you know getting feet time, getting track time. I think. He's, now what? He's now what? To to beat. Now what about the hitman Ryan Diotti, who who was there last year? Yeah, I think, you know, there's good competition. So, you know, with Felch being gone, that opens the door for a lot of guys. So, you know, it's time to step up the game and see, you know, see who's going to be the next man. So, it should be a good race, and I'm really looking forward to watching it. So, one more time, who is your pick for BK7? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to say Shane Smith, for sure. That's, I mean, he's just, he's, he's coming down the track and getting out of, you know, he's getting track time, but, but that's just, you know, that's just my pick. Hey, that's you know? cool. That's that's cool. That's so, cool. It, it, the, yeah. the, the, the hitman comes on, and he puts in his comment, is this guy being sarcastic? <laughs> 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 oh, baby. I lo- hey, you know what, there. Cahill? I love it. You just open the doors, and I love it. I think it's cool, oh, as, yeah. he- I think it's cool as heck. I appreciate you being on the show. I appreciate you tuning in, and I appreciate everything you do for me, man. I, I appreciate all your support. Thank you, Terry. Thank you for everything you do for the sport, man. It's it's awesome. Definitely 
definitely awesome. Right on. Danny Cahill, we'll we'll see I'll see you at the track on Saturday, huh? All right, man. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Thanks for being on the show. All right, bye. Bye-bye. All right, that was Danny the King Cahill. What a great guy, you know, and he is a great driver. And he says his pick is, he said, without a doubt, his pick is one time, Shane Smith, the 44. So, uh, and, you know, that's a good way to get people to hate you, Danny. Well, hey, Shane, at least you got you got some fans. I mean, you must be doing something right. Ronnie says, this guy's obviously misinformed. <laughs> I love it. This is what the BK is all about. It's good fun, good bunch of guys. And uh, I, 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 I'll tell you, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I am, I've never been prouder to be associated with a, a bunch of guys than I am. These guys are, it's, uh, you guys are off the charts cool. I, I just, I love it. I love the whole thing. But moving on, um, you know, the Oregon State Karting Championship Series, we had that schedule change, but they had their 2014 awards ceremony this last Saturday, and I kind of want to go over uh, some of the winners and give them some props because it, uh, it was a great season. I was blessed enough to be able to do all the events, and um, it's been I think it's been my fourth year, fifth year uh, doing the series. It's, it's always awesome. The, the people are wonderful. Um, you're not going to find a, a nicer bunch of folk, uh, anywhere. And, uh, so they've had, they had their award ceremony. Unfortunately, I wasn't the, uh, master of ceremonies, but I do have the results and we'll go down starting with kid cart. Stanley Rux was, uh, the man in kid cart. Um, we had quite a few, but they were hit and miss, uh, towards the end. It was, it was pretty good, but, uh, Stanley Rux is our kid cart winner. Uh, junior one, first place went to none other than uh, Flying Zach Fransky. Uh, second place went to Lawrence Bristol. And third place, we had his mom on here uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that was racing Mason Smark. So uh, Mason doing a nice job in the third spot. Junior two went to, this was pretty interesting. This, this guy come out of nowhere. Uh, his name is Kyle Dupel. And can this guy roll? I'm going to tell you, he can wheel. And he won it. The Bandit from Sandy, Oregon, Justin DeMars. You'll get to see him in action Saturday uh, at Slideway Saturday. He'll be running the AKRA clone class. He had a great finish last week, uh, two weekends ago. So Justin DeMars was second. And my man Tyler Besselin, another great standout kid. Uh, he was third. Uh, World Formula went to uh, David Shorn. Uh, second place went to the Dew Boy, Jonathan Brown, one, probably one of the most improved drivers um, out of them all. Third went to Brian Green in World Formula. And that was World Formula heavy, of course. KT100 went to the man, Mr. Smiley, Mr. Happy, one of the greatest guys, the greatest kids you'll ever want to meet. His name is Andy Anderson, and he can wheel it. And he was your uh, first place winner. Second place went to Corner One, Dan Garrison, probably the hardest, one of the hardest working men in karting. Um, and third place went to Jeff Bandalo. Uh, Rotax Sr., glad to see this. First place went to Laura Freeman. Now, let me tell you this little story about Laura Freeman. She's a gal who came out, didn't, you know, didn't have a lot of experience, came out, and I'm going to say, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but most people would have given it up. She, she... She lost her fair share of races, let's put it that way. And she's improved and improved, and she keeps coming back, and she keeps coming back. She's a wonderful girl. She has wonderful parents, and I just love her grit and stick to itness. And I'm so glad to see her get a first place in Rotax Senior. It, it is just absolutely off the charts cool. She's, uh, she deserves every bit of it, and way to go, Laura Freeman. I love it. Um, and then special awards, and these were um, uh, they were voted on by the participants. So your road race driver of the year went to Troy Schultz. Now I gotta say, when I first saw Troy Schultz, he came out to the sprint track, and I watched him, and I thought, yeah, okay, I, Troy's a road racer, or whatever. I watched him drive a sprint car, and I went, holy mackerel, this guy can flat roll. I mean, and he can. So he was your road race driver of the year. The road race most improved driver was Steven Rogers. 
I don't know a whole lot about Steven Rogers. I'm going to assume that if you get most improved driver of the year voted on by your peers, you must have improved quite a bit. So congratulations, Steven Rogers. That's awesome. Uh, Sprint driver of the year. Uh, it might have been a toss-up for me, but this is still not a bad choice. Uh, it went to David Shorn. Definitely uh, worthy. Uh, Jonathan Brown would have been right in there uh, with that, so it could have went either way. Good choice. David Shorn, congratulations. You earned it. You were the man. Uh, the sprint most improved driver was Jonathan Brown. Could have went either way, uh, like I said, on that sprint driver of the year, but uh, he got most improved. Sprint junior driver of the year, Jacob Gulick, no doubt about that one. I mean, that would have been criminal had he not got that. He went down to the Nationals and just owned um, – Jacob Gulick was the guy to beat. He was the measure in everything he ran. He, he won tag. He won, well, I mean, he won just about everything he was in, and he just didn't win it. I mean, he, he basically, there was one where um, Mr. Moves, Austin Ray Chalman, got him on the last lap, but that woke him up. But everything else, he just, he, he crushed is what he did. Uh, junior uh, driver sprint of the year. Yeah. Great choice. He goes to uh, racing Mason Smark. What a what a standout kid, and he's just as good in the classroom as he is on, at the racetrack, which I love. So congratulations, racing Mason. You earned that one, buddy. No doubt about it. Uh, mechanic of the year went to uh, Doctor Speed himself, Mister Don Humble from Competition Motors Corp. Uh, the Hard Luck Award went to J. G. Francis who also impressed me as a sprint driver. I never thought he really was one until I got to watch him. He is quite a sprint driver, too, as well as a heck of a road racer. So congratulations, JG. You're the man. And Sportsman of the Year went to the Smark family, Smark Family Racing. Um, and that was uh, another great choice. Those people, uh, they bust their fanny for everybody at the racetrack, and they're always there volunteering uh, to help. Uh, whatever it is, and uh, they are just, um, they're amazing people. That's thats thats all I can say. They're just amazing people. So congratulations to the Smarks. Well, well, well deserved on that one, and uh, looking forward to a great 2015 with all those folks at PKA. Uh, we got a few minutes left. Um, all I can say, if Ron Bowles in the house, the bullet, the missile, man, good to see Ron Bowles in the house. Uh, and, and you're not kidding. Just making the BK7 is going to be a win. There is no question about that. But Sean Carr says, I got you covered, Ford Cook. <laughs> I love it. This is going to get good, I'm going to tell you. But I'm looking forward to Saturday. Um, it's going to be a great, even if you're not racing, I encourage you to to be out there. Um, um, Sean Peterson, I'm so glad you tuned in. Oh, man. Gabe, my man, Gabe Coity, you got to, you guys got to know this dude can wheel a four stroke. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Jacob, Jacob Coity is a, he is, he is a wheel and he is a, one of the greatest guys. He's one of my great buddies. Gabe, I love you, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. I, I, man, you just made my whole night. Awesome. And, uh, so with that, I encourage you to be there Saturday. It's going to be some great, uh, great action. I, I think everybody's going to be coming down. I know the Rockets coming. I hear rumor. I just I hear rumor is um, that Jason Gibb might be there, but I'm not sure. So you, you definitely want to see that if you want to see one of the finest uh, Speedway guys, you know, ever to get in the wheel. Uh, Jake, uh, you know, Jason Gibb, the Wizard going to be there i maybe i i just heard rumor nothing's for sure but hey you know come and see for yourself but i know i think one time is going to be in the house uh case hinkins and his jaw are going to be in the house he's going to be i think he's going to be one of the sleepers for sure case hinkins is he he he's faster than people are i think giving him credit for so look for uh, case hinkins to be uh to be right there um i'm, I'm sure renee angel going to be in the house uh, the Rocket, Ronnie Cox, going to be there. The Iron Man, Joe Stackman, I think, is going to be there. Um, you know, it's uh, it's going to be quite, you know, I know, uh, I, I hear Hager's going to be out doing some uh, tuning this weekend. Spear's going to be there. Zimmer's going to be there in the Yamaha class. Um, 
my goodness, you guys, you you uh, you you don't want to you don't want to miss it. You don't you do not. It's going to be worth. Uh, it's going to be one heck of a slideway Saturday. This Saturday, gates open. Uh,